and welcome to everyone. Today we are going to discuss about why we should not implement Six Sigma in service industry. So if you are in service industry like hotels, hospitals, airlines, sales, repairs, retail, banking, commercial transportation and business to business services then you should not implement Six Sigma. It is a sheer waste of time and energy. You would ask me why it should be like that because let me explain you the difference between manufacturing industry and service industry. In manufacturing industry 80% of the content in the business is machines and 20% human being. So the ratio of machine to human being is 80-20. Whereas in service industry more human interaction is there, more people are involved to give the services and service is basically human oriented to whom you give services, to the humans. So in the service industry the ratio of human to machine is 80-20. So it's reverse. In manufacturing 80% content is machines and in service industry 80% content is human beings. So the principles applied in Six Sigma cannot be implemented on human beings. So that's what we need a human Sigma. Let me tell you about the invention of Six Sigma. Six Sigma was invented to minimize the product wastage by reducing the product variation and variation in manufacturing processes. Six Sigma started in Motorola in 1986 as a management technique. Motorola was a very big company in 1980s and it had a big market share in United States. Motorola was manufacturing a Quasar television sets which was very famous in United States. But within a short time there were several defects cropping in their products. The sound quality was poor, the picture quality deteriorated. So later the Japanese company took over this manufacturing facility and within a month they were able to reduce defects. The defect rate was 1 20th of those defects produced earlier. So they reduced the defect rate by 95%. So the 95% defects were eliminated. Surprisingly, they were having same material, same equipment and even same people. The problem was with Motorola management. The defect reduction and monitoring processes were introduced by an engineer called Bill Smith in 1986. Dr. Michael J. Harry and engineer Bill Smith were co-founders of Six Sigma in Motorola in 1986. Six Sigma is basically a methodology to reduce the product variation and process variation during the manufacturing where you have a maximum content is 80% machines, materials. So material has the same characteristics. Machines also have a predictable characteristics. So those predictable machine and material characteristics combine, they produce the predictable product characteristics. So it's easier in manufacturing to implement Six Sigma. Even though you implement Six Sigma in manufacturing, 80% machines and materials are taken care. Whereas for 20% humans operating those machines, you need to attend them. So that can be only attended through Human Sigma and not Six Sigma. So in manufacturing also, you need to have a 20% of Human Sigma implemented to handle the human beings to correct the human beings. The human deviation can be optimized by using human sigma. In service industry, you have 80% human and 20% equipments to support them in services. So here the core strategy or methodology to be implemented is human sigma, which we are going to discuss in subsequent chapters in this series. So subscribe to this channel and share with your colleagues to spread the knowledge.